An e-portfolio is a digital collection of items which show a teacher's knowledge, skills, and experiences. Why is an e-portfolio needed at this time? The current teacher performance appraisal instruments are evidence-based. You are required to prove to your appraisal team that you have particular accomplishments, that you have completed specific tasks and that you are involved in continued professional development. You must also prove that you are involved in other activities. When you create an e-portfolio, it provides an opportunity for you to keep track of your professional career. It allows you to showcase your accomplishments and awards. You can display students' work in one easy-to-find place. It serves as a reflective tool that allows you to showcase your achievements and growth over time. When preparing to start your e-portfolio, you should consider the format it will take. Will it be an online document, or will it be a website? Once you have decided on the format, the question at hand is where do I start? Create a table of contents. You can use this table of contents as your guide. Section 1 is about you. You should introduce yourself. Tell your appraisal team about your education philosophy and some learning theories. You should include a professional photograph. In Section B, you can upload all of your certificates, awards, and copies of your professional qualifications. In Section C, you must show that you know how to teach, so include your action and lesson plans. Also include your course outline and the other documents shown. Watch the video to see what you may include in Section D. For Section E, include documents related to how you sharpen your professional skill and for Section F, you should show how you interact with the parents and community. In the final section, show all you do to uplift the teaching profession. Now, let's create the ePortfolio. The format is a Google site. To start your Google site, type the following into your web browser sites.google.com or log in to your Google Drive. In your Google Drive, click on the menu and scroll down to Sites. Start with a blank template. It allows you to organize your information how you want it. When the site opens, you should give it an appropriate name. You should also name the web page. This name will appear on all the pages of your website. Next, what do you want on your title page? In this section, you put your name, the subject you teach and your professional photograph. You can insert your professional photograph from your driver from your computer. To do this, click on Insert and then on Drive. Select an appropriate photograph and drag it to the correct position. Change the background color to make your website attractive. You need to decide on a color scheme. Google Sites have several backgrounds from which you can choose or you can find beautiful backgrounds online to use. Save the ones you selected on your computer. To change the background, click on Image at the bottom left-hand corner of the header. It asks you to select one of Google's backgrounds or to upload your own. Select Upload to choose your background. The new background will be applied to your website and you can immediately see the difference. You have just created the banner for your home page. Now, Look at your table of contents and add the required number of pages. To add a web page, click on Pages, then on the ellipses. Select Subpage and name the first page as it is named in your table of contents. 
Add and name all of your subpages at this time. Now that you have added all the required pages, go to the home page and start to add the necessary information and documents. First, insert your table of contents. Do this by adding a content block or a placeholder. To see the entire image, click on uncrop and then adjust the placement of the image to your liking. After inserting the table of contents, you will need to add a background. Use a background which blends well with your header. NB, each time you insert an item, you need to add a background. Your next content block can have your photograph and primary demographic data about you, such as your name, telephone number, and the school you teach at. After that, you should insert information that responds to the question, Who am I? Here you tell about yourself as an educator and professional. In this section, you can also include a copy of your resume. You complete this page by discussing your educational philosophy and learning theories that guide you. Here is an example of how your home page should look. Section A is complete. Now go to Section B. GP number 1, I know the subject. This section asks you to upload your diplomas, degrees and certificates. Here is how this section should look. Section B is now complete. For Section C, you must provide documents supporting the fact that you know how to teach the subject. Documents such as action plans, course outlines and lesson plans should be uploaded here. To upload these documents to your website, you should first upload them to your drive. Next, put in a placeholder and transfer them from your drive to your website. Remember always to give sharing rights so the appraisal team can access the documents. This is how it should look when all the documents are added to this section. In Section D, you should show that you know your students and is committed to them. Here is the final look of Section D. Section E asks you to sharpen your professional skills and these are the documents needed for this section.
For section F, you should show what you do to interact with the parents and the community. In section G, you should show that you act professionally. This should be reflected especially in how my students and peers view me. You now need to publish your website so your appraisal team can view it with the link you provide. Click on Publish and then name your site. Decide who you would like to share your site with. Because it is for evaluation purposes, you do not have to make it public. If it is good and you would like others to learn from it, you can make it public. Click right here to get the link to share with your appraisal team. Take a last look at your portfolio website. Make sure that the information is properly organized. All done. Now email the link to your appraisal team. Good luck. Your hard work will pay off.